What's up everybody, this is Lou Shiva with Worldwide Corals and today I'm going to show you how to move a nano tank. Today we're doing a special video. Right now I have an award winning 4.8 desktop from eShops and I'm upgrading to the new Florida, it's called the Florida Edition uh, Deskmate, it's 9 gallons. So today I want to show you guys how to do it step by step. The first thing you want to start out with is preparation. If you look down to my left, you will see I have my buckets, my tools, my new water for the salt water, my cart to transport. We're not going far, I'm only bringing a tank next door. It'll be on display, so if you come down to Worldwide Coral Superstore, you can view it any day of the week. It'll be over there for now, and it'll be set up right on the counter. So here we go. I'm gonna start off by grabbing some equipment here. So come on in, let's go, let's do it. So I got my handy dandy cart. Lift it up. Happy's still happy. He's in place there. Now keep in mind, folks, this is a 4.8 gallon, so it's a lot easier to move than a bigger tank. But nevertheless, it's the same kind of concept. You want to keep your animals happy and make sure they survive. Pentagon, meet my desk mate. Desk mate, meet the Pentagon. Welcome home, baby. It's actually going to be located right up here at the front counter right by the checkout area where our fish only tank is. So make sure you come by and check it out. Say hi to Happy. Side view here, you get your front view here. Then another view down the side. I think we're good. Ready one, Leo Marie. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that coral and put it back in that coral rock. Going right back into the tank. Been pretty quick. So now I'm gonna add the water from the tank back in. Let it take from next door. Whoa. Don't swim that part. Still no, no, no. <laughs> Ah, so we had a little spill. Make sure you have your towels. Like I said earlier, towels always come in handy. So that's an important part too, is to have your towels. And that should do it. That's all gonna be a little cloudy when you do the tank changeover. So you need about a day for it to actually clear up. The next step is to kind of tidy things up, plug everything in and add the light. So I'm going around with a turkey baster and I'm just kind of blowing the, some of the sand off the corals so I kind of clear them off. All right, so it's a perfect little nook for the rock to rest in. So I'm trying to make an adjustment. I'll make sure it comes out just right. Try to get the, to back where it was when it was in my office. Should be pretty easy. So this is the top rock here. It's like the arch that goes over. You want to make sure you keep your work area nice and clean and dry. Happy's doing good still. Hi, Happy. We're going to do the same light. We're going to do an AI Aqua Illumination Prime 16 HD. I'm doing one on this tank as well as the new Deskme Florida. It'll have the same program, so the lights will stay the same. So that's also important. When you're switching over your tank, make sure you don't change the light spectrum at all. You want to keep it the same so it grows adapt very quickly and you have minimal losses. So let me finish drying this thing off. Here we'll head back over to the office. Here it is, the 8.59 gallon Deskmate. The first one to be released in the US is mine. And I'm gonna be entering the new Deskmate challenge. Information to come soon. Shalom with eShops, look out, I'm coming for you. Get ready. This time, I'm coming with a vengeance. Even though I won last time, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so back here has a built-in filter area. What I like about the Deskmates is that they have a really big filter area. You put your socks back there. Filter floss, heater, protein skimmer. I'm choosing not to use a protein skimmer, but if you wanna use a protein skimmer, it can fit right back here in the middle chamber. So what's cool about this tank that on the side window here versus the other desk mate, it has an actual line that actually where you wanna to top off your fresh water top off. So you can see a line right there for your window. And this one's Euro brace, which I really like. It's a lot bigger than my other tank. It's about double the size. With that being said, I'm gonna need some rock. And I've been talking to Josh. I call him the wizard here at Worldwide Corals. We're gonna go ahead and go over to the shop and I'm gonna catch him off guard and see what he has for us. So let's go, we'll go see what's up. So it's only been about maybe 10 minutes. It's already clearing up pretty nice. I mean, once the lights on here, we'll see a little bit better, but I mean, very happy with the progress so far. But it looks like it's gonna be a great project, great move, and there shouldn't be uh, any casualties. Happy the fish is out swimming and he seems happy and he's happy to go. 
Looks like one of my rocks fell forward, but we'll go ahead and adjust that here in, in, in a few minutes. Happy to see it so far. Happy to see happy, happy. Let's go, let's get happy. Let's get our rocks, let's do it. Uh-oh, tasting rock. I know what these are. What do you think of that? Woo! Fire, wow. So this is my thought. Okay. This is stuff that we've had for like anywhere between a year and three years, underwater, in the dark, um, for us to use at any point in time for something cool. Yeah. Sometimes plating stuff looks good. Sometimes some of the bulkier stuff. I don't know, but there's probably 20 pieces more than you need. Yeah. But I think that out of all of this stuff here, you should be able to think, oh, look at that one. Oh man, you're gonna make it easy for me. You're gonna make me look like a true pro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is done? What is done? <laughs> Hey, I'm not gonna get too confident though. Last time I got confident like this, I had spending about two hours on some rock skate work. I didn't, two, two hours too long, put it that way. Um, but I mean, this is phenomenal. I mean, this is stuff you just can't buy or find anymore. So no, we stash it. Like I said, it's been it's been one or th one to three years. So that's that's hoarding at its best. Asian rock is comprised of uh, a few Caribbean corals that you see here. I'm assuming these are type of pavona or agaricia. Um, and they're very leafy. You almost you almost see this shape in every single piece. So so because they're layering, you get all these cool like ledges and and nooks. And when you stack them, they just naturally lock together. It almost looks like the inner part of a lobo here. Wow. It, it, it very might well be. Well, we moved here in nineteen, right. right? Yeah. And we started cycling all of the all of the. Haitian rock that we got in 18. So this was the 18, 2018 was the last time that we collected any kind of Haitian rock, I believe. So five or six years. That's crazy. That's almost a rock escape in itself. Now Josh actually knows what I was looking for. He knows my taste in reefing. That's basically the worldwide corals way, the worldwide corals method. A lot of openings, a lot of places for the fish to swim through, a lot of place, uh, places to place corals. I mean, you see my desk mate, uh, my coral all over even growing along the back of the uh, tank, so. I definitely need coral real estate, and this is going to give me that volume I need. So I'm really excited about this. Josh, thanks. You really looked out for me. Hot dog, let's do it. All right. We need a cart for that, I think. From there, I'm going to leave enough room so I can kind of get in there with my magic eraser and kind of clean the glass. So that rock there, yeah, I put two rocks in there, but if you just look at it, it looks amazing. I mean, it's just that rock is that nice. I mean, it's everything you want in the rock. See here. The main light, I'm not gonna leave on while it cycles. I just put it on today so I can show you guys. We're gonna go ahead and talk to the Rev over at Reef to Reef and figure out the logistics of the contest. But stay tuned for more details. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is Lou Shiva, Where I Crows, I'm out. Oh,